Surya Namaskar that is the salute to the sun is a sequence of 12 gracefully linked yoga poses which as a whole works on almost every part of the body so if you don't have time to do the full yoga just do Surya Namaskar at least twice or thrice daily and you get the majority of benefits of yoga. It improves blood circulation, maintains overall health. Asan or the warrior pose stretches the chest, shoulders, neck, belly, thighs, ankles and strengthens the muscles of shoulders, arms and back. Vrikshasana, do it with both legs one at a time, hold it for as long as you can, it improves balance and stability in your legs. Trajasana. It stretches shoulder, thighs and abdomen area, strengthens legs, ankles and elbows. It also prevents obesity. Tarasana the palm tree pose reduces the flat feet problem, improves balance and concentration, stretches almost every part of your body and also grows height if you are under 18. Padhastasana or forward bending. It removes belly fat, improves flexibility and improves digestion. Asana or the backward bending releases tension in neck and shoulder areas. It is also great for respiratory system. Standing Chakrasana or the lateral bending improves flexibility of spine, tones your waist and improves your figure. Shavasana is the easiest and the most loved yoga posture I'm sure because you have to do absolutely nothing and still it gives huge benefits. It reduces the problems like stress, low BP, anxiety, depression and it calms you down, rejuvenates your whole body. And it can be done by anyone at any time. Uttan Padasana or the raised leg pose in this you have to raise your legs at different angles from the ground and hold it for a few moments. It cures back pain, acidity, indigestion, constipation and strengthens abdominal organs, back, hip and thighs muscles. Pavan Muktasana or the leg lock pose releases trapped gases and improves digestion and it also cures menstrual disorders. Situband Asana or the bridge pose, it combats problems like depression, stress, anxiety and insomnia. Chakrasana or the wheel pose has countless benefits for the majority of body parts. It cures infertility, asthma, tones arms and legs, stretches every part of the body, great for respiration and these are just a few of the benefits that the chakrasana has it has a lot lot more
Sarvangasana or the shoulder stand it cures all kinds of hair problems hair fall premature greying of hair hair loss and also relieves headaches and it's really good for heart Halasana reduces the cramps in the legs helpful for diabetes because it normalizes the blood glucose level Nakasana or the boat pose improves concentration, strengthens lungs, liver, and pancreas. Inverted Shavasana is also a relaxation pose. It revitalizes all the muscles. Makarasana or the crocodile pose is another relaxation pose. It's really helpful for all the back problems like a slip disc or any other back. Bhujangasana or the cobra pose there are two variants for this posture as you can see it reduces backache and creates an optimal well-being Dhanurasana or the bow pose it is one of the best poses in all of yoga because it gives a good stretch to abdominal muscles the benefits are weight loss and fast belly fat reduction the shalab asana or the locust pose it removes excess fat from thighs and hips regular practice can help in control diabetes vajrasana or the thunderbolt pose it is quite easy and improves digestion and it can also be done after eating Parvatasana or the mountain pose strengthens the muscles of the arms and legs and increases the blood flow to the brain. Ushtrasana or the camel pose improves the spinal flexibility, strengthens every area that is stretched and improves postures. It also reduces the thigh fat. Shashankasana or the hair pose stimulates the immune and the endocrine system and lengthens the spine. Mandukasana or the frog pose controls weight, flattens tummy and awakens kundalini about which I will talk in my later videos. The attitude of psychic reunion tones all the organs in the abdomen, brings flexibility to back, spine and hips. Vakrasana or the twisting pose increases elasticity of the spine, stretches hip joints and the legs. Padmasana or the lotus pose calms down the brain, increases awareness and attentiveness. It also develops a great posture. Brahm Mudra or Lord Brahma's pose it reduces strain in neck and shoulder area, reduces the fat around our chin. Shoulder rotation tones the arms and strengthens the shoulders. stretch reduces the fat around the arm areas. Finger lock and stretch. It improves the overall flexibility and strength. Inhale a longer breath and exhale in short sharp contractions. 
Kapalbhati improves oxygen supply in the brain, reduces stress, produces heat in the body and purifies the body, hence enhancing the beauty. Anulom Vilom This breathing exercise requires you to first inhale from the left nostril, hold up for a beat and then exhale from the right nostril, again holding up for a beat and then inhaling from the same right nostril, holding and then releasing that breath from the left nostril. This is one cycle, you have to do at least five. Anulom Vilom improves heart health, it helps in controlling high BP, depression and migraine. Brahmari. It improves memory and is really good for vocalists or singers because it clears your throat. Om chanting has a lot of benefits. It helps to improve concentration. It reduces stress and anxiety, it's rejuvenating and pacifying, it detoxifies the body, it ensures sound sleep and makes you emotionally stable. So this was all about my daily yoga routine. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will make yoga a part of your life too. Because in truth, Yoga doesn't take time, it gives time. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. So do subscribe for the next good vibe. See you. Bye.